Proverbs 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and, he, and is a fool. Also, that the soul be without knowledge. It is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more does his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are warning to, warning to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dripping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a pertinent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despises his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor leneth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will be paid him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment. For if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy later, later end. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hands in his bosom, and will not so much as to bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father and chasteneth away his mother is a son that causes shame and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear their instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. What would be the credit and comfort of a poor man and make him more excellent than his neighbor, though his poverty may expose him to contempt and may dispirit him? Let him be honest and walk in integrity. Let him keep a good conscience and make it appear that he does so. Let him always speak and act with sincerity when he is under the greatest temptations to dissemble and break his word. And then let him value himself upon that, for all wise and good men will value him. He is better, has a better, better character, is in a better condition, is better beloved, and lives to better purpose than many one that looks great and makes a figure. 
What will be the shame of a rich man, notwithstanding all his pomp, if he have a shallow head and an evil tongue, if he is perverse in his lips and is a fool, if he is a wicked man and gets what he has by fraud and oppression, he is a fool, and an honest poor man is to be preferred far before him.